So recently, I actually got a 3D printer. I figured, well, it's time to try something a little bit new and go do something that I have never really done before, which is learn 3D modeling and all that. So I picked up a LulzBot Taz 6 at my local micro center. This is Peter's printer, and that's mine. <laughs> Me and Sam put it together. And now it's time for me to try printing out something. First, bring some junk off the internet to some simple little stuff. But I wanted to try something too. Because uh, one of you guys also mentioned something about building an FPV boat. So, And what I built here is something like that resembles one of those little lifeboats from those uh, giant like um, oil tankers and whatnot. They have these unsinkable lifeboats, and this is loosely based off of that. It's actually turned out okay for my first 3D print and all that, but uh, still has some finishing to do, so I'm going to go do that right now. It's all semi done now. I guess it's time to do a simple float test to see if this thing floats. Okay, let's see. Well, the hull floats. Oh, I need a battery. Hang on one second. Okay, I think I'm going to use an 800 mm two cell too for floating. And, uh, yeah. It's not going to float. It's going to flip over. So I guess I'm going to put some uh, lead shot in here because uh, unfortunately I only have these little 800 mm two cells that I plan to use in this boat. Oh, let's see if this is waterproof or not. Yep, it looks like it's working. No air bubbles are leaking. Right, got the wrong board.
Okay, I guess that concludes the boat. It's all put together now. Looks like it's working. Uh, I sprayed Corrosion X all over everything in here. Like, uh, it's this stuff right here, the, the waterproofing junk. Because this is going into salt water, and there is a very good chance that this might leak a little bit while it's out in the water and the waves getting tossed about. So the receiver is coated in that stuff. Servo is coated in it. The battery leads are coated in it to protect this as much as possible. I think what I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm actually going to glue this shut. So I'm going to use hot glue for that. So it should be holding together really, really well. It shouldn't let go. But the other thing with that too is um, if I need to open this up for servicing or whatever, denature alcohol is going to work really well for getting glue off. It does it really, really well without really destroying the plastic or ruining it. So that's how I'm going to release that. Let's glue it together. Okay, let's hope it stays sealed. Well, hopefully that holds. It's glued together now. So only time will tell or testing will tell perhaps. So we got this little JST thing going on back here. Looks like crap, I know. But uh, this is the only thing I could do for the, such a small model. I think I'm gonna change this out eventually to something better where I can have like a plug embedded into this thing. So I just short a jumper out and it runs the boat. But for now that'll do. Uh, I'm gonna finish this off. I'm gonna cut a little window out here so I can see for moisture and water in there. So when this thing is done running, I'll just pull out the tape, let it dry out and then retape it before every run. So hopefully that works out. It's pretty small. I'm gonna go shove it in the sink and see if it leaks. Oh boy, let's see if it floats. Well, that's not surprising. I guess it floats now, so. Alright, let's shove it underwater and see if it bubbles come out of it. Okay, that's good. No air bubbles there. Alright, let's roll over more. Alright, so it looks like it is actually watertight. It's sealed up. Cool. Oh. Okay, cool. It won't it won't capsize either. That's good. All right, let's see how far this thing works underwater. A good signal going underwater. Oh, 5.8. Yeah, science and all that. All right, next stop, the lake. Da, da, da. So what do you think, Sam? I think it looks really terrible. I'm not super satisfied with it as far as a cool looking thing. It just looks like a like a shoe. But it should be unsinkable. Uh -oh. oh, this is so weird. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Where's the water? I don't know how to do this. Chuck it in for me. Well, it moves fast the real life, but moves really, really freaking slowly. Max speed. It's really slow. All right, time for the waterfall. Oh, that's too far. Oh, no, no, no. Panic, panic, panic. No, no, no. You got hung up. Why didn't you go the other way? And it's stuck. Where did he? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So that was just the first test run of this thing. Uh, next stop for this is Hawaii. Uh, my brother is actually stationed out there in the uh, army. He's a helicopter mechanic. And he's gonna take me to some really cool places, like some cool beaches and some waterfalls. And in November, the waves are the biggest they are in Hawaii. So this is gonna go up against some really, really big waves because it's really, really boring and slow, but it's not designed to go fast. It's just supposed to be unsinkable. So I'm gonna go inside and go finish painting this thing up and decorating it. And I'll see you guys in Hawaii. Oh, be sure to go ahead and uh, like, subscribe to the video, share it through social media and all that. It helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.